from at Whole Foods, and they have a hummus section on this end cap right here. And this is where I get my low-fat hummus. So they have Engine 2 hummus, there's a roasted red bell pepper, jalapeno, traditional falafel, and spicy black bean. They're only $2.99, which is a pretty good deal. More familiar ways for American palates to meet the cancer prevention guidelines might be a whole grain bagel smeared with hummus, and my friend uh, Paul mashes cannellini beans into his oatmeal and swears you can't even see or taste them. Why not? Alrighty then. So I have a mini mukbang today, I guess you could say, because I'm just eating uh, some bread and hummus. I'm actually going to a vegan meetup in a few hours where I'm going to be eating, so this is just kind of a snack to hold me over. I'm going to be using Food for Life 7 Sprouted Greens for the bread, and for the hummus, I'm using Engine 2 Plant Strong Hummus, and I'm just going to open the hummus. I'm not toasting the bread in this video because this bread is already pretty hearty. So I'll just uh, I'll just do one at a time here. So got the bread, and I'm just going to take some and spread it on there. So this hummus doesn't have any oil, it's oil-free hummus. And I got it from Whole Foods for $2.99. And that's it. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of that. Just in case. Uh, I want to post it somewhere, and I always do two pictures just to make sure I got a good one. All right, all right, T then. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take a bite. That is good. Again, this is just a little snack to hold me over. Uh, just a little high carb, low fat snack. So most of the carbohydrates are coming from the bread, which is I didn't need it again anyway, so I'll just keep it down there for now. Anyway, the bread is 80 calories for one slice, 0.5 grams fat, 15 grams carbohydrate, 3 grams fiber, so there's actually 12 grams of carbohydrate plus 3 grams of fiber for a total of 15 grams of carbohydrate. I'm going to be eating two pieces of bread, so that's 30 grams of carbohydrates. And the hummus. Uh, is in two tablespoons, which is the serving size. There's one gram of fat and three grams of carbs. One gram of fat for two tablespoons of hummus is really good, so it's 0.5 grams of fat in uh, one tablespoon. So this is probably, this is probably like half a tablespoon, or maybe a tablespoon. Somewhere between half a tablespoon and a tablespoon. At the most, I'll be using two tablespoons, so. Um, 
so yeah, one gram of fat for both pieces of bread and one gram of fat for the hummus. I don't want to take too much time figuring out the, the carbs and fat in these videos. I just like to show that it is uh, high carb, low fat in the videos. So most people have heard of low carb. So I'm eating high carb. Well, I'm eating low fat, but that works itself out to be high carb. Um, just because natural plant-based food is usually high carb, low fat, like fruits, veggies, grains. Uh, potatoes, starch, and um, products without any added oil. I previously mentioned um, a good way to lose weight is to separate carbs and fat. And uh, I guess that's kind of the under, I guess that's kind of um, why people eat low carb, which, because when you drop one, okay, there's three macronutrients, there's carbs, fat, and protein. Usually when you bring one down, the others come up, or you can bring two down and one will come up. So when people eat low carb, they usually either raise the protein or the fat or both. So the opposite of that would be eating high carbs, so the fat and the protein goes down. So, uh, in the vegan community, in the plant-based community, where people are trying to eat low fat or high carb, um, which are synonyms, basically, the other macronutrients go down. So, if you're eating a low fat diet, that means the, you can either bring the carbs up, or if you wanted to, the proteins up, protein up, or just bring one of them up. So, people usually bring the carbs up, and uh, keep the fat and the protein low. But I wanted to um, here's the other piece of bread. Now this version I'm just going to dip it. That's why I said it doesn't matter how the knife fell. So an example of how separating carbs and fat helps you lose weight is there's nine calories in one gram of fat. There's only four calories in one gram of carbs. So when you eat something that's low fat, you're saving on those uh, fat calories, basically. And this is a good example. The snack is a good example. I'm only eating two pieces of bread. Uh, if this was regular hummus, before I went low fat a couple, uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, on June 1st. Well, yeah, a few weeks ago. Before, I just would have put regular hummus on bread. Two pieces, because that's just a snack. I'm not eating this to get full, I'm eating this to hold me over. So with the low-fat hummus, uh, same thing. I'm just eating uh, two pieces of bread worth. So every bite of hummus is less calories because there's no, there's no oil in it. Oil is like 120 calories per tablespoon. So for every tablespoon of this I eat, I'm basically, um, well, basically, because there's no oil in this, there's no fat in this, saving on the calories. There's only 25 calories in two tablespoons. If this was uh, the full fat hummus, there would probably be more calories than 25. 
So that's one way. And when I say separating fat, I don't like literally mean separating um, like all or nothing because you can't um, completely separate it, nor should you. Uh, you can't completely separate it because everything, well, almost everything, uh, natural plant-based food like fruits and veggies has a little bit of fat in it. And nor should you separate them completely because some vitamins are fat soluble. So you need just a little bit of fat to get the vitamins in. So um, it's a low fat diet, not a no fat diet. So that's gone. Got some water here. I'm going to a meetup tonight. Um, I don't know if you guys know about meetup.com, but basically you can go to meetup.com, type in your zip code, type in your interest, and we'll bring up any groups around your area or the closest groups to your area uh, for that interest. So if I go to, if I go to meetup.com, type in Indianapolis, or put in my zip code and type in vegan, uh, It'll bring up the Indianapolis Vegetarian and Vegan Meetup Group, um, which I've been a member of for the past few years. Uh, so for any any area, if you type in your zip code, um, it might just be for the United States. I'm not sure if it's um, uh, other countries as well. But I know if you live in the United States, and you want to meet like-minded people, just go to meetup.com, type in your zip code, type in your interest. They'll bring up groups around you. And there is one for Indianapolis. There's a, a couple thousand. I think it's more than that. I think there's a few thousand members. And basically, uh, there's uh, people that host the meetups. So when they post a meetup, whoever wants to go can RSVP and um, basically sign up for the meetup. And um, so yeah, I'm going to a meetup tonight. That's why I just have this little snack. So if you're vegan or interested in going vegan and you want to meet some like-minded people, try meetup.com because that's where I uh, found a lot of the vegans I know in real life. Um, in real life. Uh, offline. <laughs> that's where uh, I met a lot of people offline in the vegan community here in Indianapolis. Uh, or any interest you have, not just vegan, it could be anything. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's it for this mini mukbang uh, bread and hummus, bread and low-fat hummus. So I plan on doing more mukbangs. I'm really liking these. Um, I'm just going to keep uh, posting them, and hopefully uh, they're worth watching. So... That's basically it for this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.